Morning. Just a, another quick um, piece of interesting information about the new uh, Widdy Jack from CME, which is uh, this thing here. Um, I had a question on one of my other videos from a guy called Steve Liberty, and Steve wanted to know that if you didn't have USB power, as is required here by the Widdy Jack unit, then could it still draw power from the MIDI out source, uh, source on your controller keyboard if that was providing power, such as this one is here, as you can see? And I thought, that's a good question. I hadn't thought of that one. So let's find out. So let's just first of all turn off the KX88 here and we'll just remove the Widdy Master. Pop that there. So what I've got here is the Widdy Jack connected to um, the other half of a regular Widdy Master, which is the one that goes on the import. Okay, so that's just a five pin DIN and a two and a half mil TRS. So let's take that and we shall plug it into the MIDI out port there of my KX88. Let me just angle that so we can see. And we'll turn the power on. And lo and behold, power is being delivered. And I have tested this and it does work. It's It works just like a regular Widdy Master would, or just like the uh, Widdy Jack would with USB power. So the benefit of this is that if you don't want the trailing USB power cable and your device has uh, a MIDI port that generates power, it will power the Widdy Jack without the USB connection. So that's just another option, which is really cool. One thing I would mention here is that this Widdy uh, cable here is a type B cable. So therefore you would have to make sure that the switch on the back is type B. Uh, if you switch it to type A, the power goes off. Back to type B and the power comes back on again. And that's the only caveat. So there you go, Widdy Jack powered by USB and also by MIDI itself. Have a great day.